you. She 
basically explains that emotional support dogs are just there. They don't have any kind of training, they just literally comforting for people. Um, as you can see, if any animal can kind of be your emotional support animal. There's, um, I don't know what kind of animal that is, but there was others that they even had like a miniature horse, they had um, a cat, so any kind of animal can be your comfort. It's just a way in you being able to not um, be uncomfortable. Um, another um, thing they spoke about was that there is some animals like within the military that help uh, these soldiers whether it was when they were in combat or when they come back, they're able to sense when they're having some kind of anxiety attack or um, some kind of stressful situation for themselves that the animals kind of just know when it's happening, they sense it and they just get close to them in a way to help. Um, so the confusion or misconceptions between both animal support or animal uh, support Emotional support animals or service animals is a lot of the time, like I said, uh, service animals, usually their types of breeds, it would be somewhere like a German Shepherd, a Labrador, or, or a Golden Retriever, just because of the type of intelligence these dogs have. Um, as far as for emotional, this can be any animal that, um, that someone would request. It doesn't necessarily need a um, approval, but nowadays, um, there is this, the, what is it? Um, American Disability Act, or, sorry, American Veterinary Medical Association. Um, the website in there talks about how it's growing that these um, stop professionals that are supposed to give out letters for only those who need or it is necessary for them are kind of just handing them out or are being, um, kind of improvised by others to make these letters. Because um, sometimes it's not necessary and people just want it to be able to bring their animals along with them anywhere. But it is, um, you are able to ask someone whether or not their animal is necessary, if it's for a disability, or if they're being trained in order for them to go in. Um, yeah, so some suggested action. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this movie. It's Max, it's a military dog who, um, you see the things that he was trained to do. Even he himself had some PTSD, but what he was trained to do, he did very well. Um, and then this one came up also, it's Until Tuesday. It's about a soldier who ends up having PTSD and this dog kind of becomes his little safe